The idea of the uh, Creatathon is to create a summer school that combines art and design with computer science, basically human-computer interaction and artificial intelligence. So each group of four or five students has one week to come up with a new idea that is creative, interactive, and intelligence. They have to go from the initial idea on Monday afternoon to a final working prototype that they will exhibit to a jury and uh, show in this showcase here, which is an interactive demo. In addition to this, next week we will be having an exhibit in Paris of all of the different pieces that they've created. We have um, students coming from the University of Paris-Saclay, which includes students in human-computer interaction and in artificial intelligence. And so we're here on the Plateau de Saclay, which is a scientific campus. And what we're trying to do is make a link with those students to students in Paris, who are art and design students from a variety of different schools in Paris. C'est possible si on considère l'écran comme un objet sculptural et c'est pour ça que j'essaie de convaincre Janine d'avoir cette grand écran à la verticale avec une structure. Donc c'est un peu comme un. Our role uh, during these five days it was to accompany them and uh, to try also to develop all the artistic uh, direction uh, behind. We are really involved about uh, trying uh, that the student. Um, uh, look inside uh, the unconscious and try to uh, really develop the depth of the work so that there is a narrative behind the work, uh, that there is a meaning, that it makes sense and it's not only a technical tool and an interactive tool. The first part where we were doing some uh, tutorial uh, tour, some crit, uh, what we call in English. Uh, and then the second part of the hackathon was uh, more uh, hands-on. They have this idea and we had to tell them that, okay, you have this idea how we can make it. So for instance, for one group, uh, we decided to make the mold in 3D print because there is the Fab Lab uh, at the hackathon. So we could really use this uh, specific tool that you uh, don't really find normally in uh, art school. Là, on est à 0,4. Ici, on est à 0,8. La bus est plus épaisse et ça va prendre beaucoup moins de temps. Et aussi le matériau et alors la couleur de l'objet aussi. Je découpe en fait les, les bases de ces formes. Et sur ces formes, il va y avoir des volumes comme des sortes de dunes qui vont être faits avec de la mousse et euh, recouvert de, de silicone et toutes ces parties elles vont aller sur le mur et il va y avoir une espèce de projection lumineuse qui va venir jouer avec les, les volumes de, des formes. Je peux mettre genre l'enceinte à l'intérieur pour voir ce que ça donne avec du poids. We worked on a kind of a living form. It's not a living form appropriately because it's not organic, but it feels like it. It feels like it. And we make the illusion it's alive. Uh, so we worked with the sound, uh, with some algorithm which recognizes the sound of the audience talking to it, and there is a response. And so uh, it creates a conversation, basically. And also, uh, for the aesthetic part, we worked with acrylic, acrylic sheets and uh, some silicone. And uh, we mixed it together. And uh, we made an artificial heart is that, uh, with some pumps. It had to be interactive, intelligent, and, uh, uh, and uh, be a piece of art, uh, actually. You have to brainstorm and to find the right way to talk to other people, other, uh, your teammates, basically. It's all about communication. We 
talk a lot about this uh, new era in our society where the boundary between uh, discipline are disappearing. So we really believe that uh, we are entering this new era where we can really uh, work with different disciplines uh, thanks to new technologies such as uh, 3D. It was really interesting actually to see the reality in front of our eyes and we realize uh, between the talk and the ID and the reality is actually not so uh, easy. It was quite interesting to see also this new generation trying to collaborate together. There is still some kind of uh, common language. Together they have to challenge each other and take advantage of the best aspects of each, of each, uh, of each other's skills and still understand why they don't understand each other sometimes and kind of come to an understanding. And I think that's critically important at a level of both the individual disciplines to understand the values of each, but also at the level of society because we should be creating students who come out who understand artificial intelligence in use, um, how to think about how people interact with technology and how to think about both design for creating objects that are useful to people and art for challenging people's ideas about um, the world. And bringing those all together is a really exciting opportunity for us.